Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Shadow Man. Last time we entered asy the asylum, took this little shuttle, you could say, and got ourselves, according to the pause menu, to the Cathedral of Pain, which, according to uh, Legion himself at least, is a place where him and Jack the Ripper and others like them can join together. Now. We're gonna start exploring from the left, We're gonna do it clockwise, and see where we can get using our current abilities before we hit a dead end and need to return back where we whence we came. Let's leave that guy in his misery in there. Dash ah, shit. Oh shit indeed, Mike. Now your turn. Die. Okay. You can see a Govi over there. Let's see what else we can get our hands on. Not bad. So, put in a put away our weapons, because if you have weapons equipped in both your hands. You cannot grab ledges. Something to keep in mind. All right. Come to daddy. Okay, some more barrels here. Housing a few cadeau. And let's see what lies behind. I can see something walking. Come to daddy. Down to daddy, okay. He's out of the way. This can be destroyed, I think. Yes, yes it can. Anything else in these barrels? Hmm. Some power-ups. Always good to have. Okay, so. There's a chute. Up there, which we cannot use. Lots and lots of hot, burning coals. Which we cannot walk ac across. Yet. So. Time to uh, go back where we came from, but first, let's put this little fucker out of his misery. Looks like the... Uh, the grating doesn't want to let me do it. And I'm not going to lose any more health to this guy. Fuck him. Let him rot. Okay. The soundtrack here is uh, ambient, metallic and mechanical sounds, as you can hear. Which is um, quite strange for a place like this. However, considering the uh, industrial theme of the, of the place, you cannot say it's entirely unexpected. Okay, let's take the right. You can see some pictograms here. What is this? Hmm. Looks like some kind of congregation with a large. <laughs> oh man. With a large projector screen made from a tight human skin. Okay, so. Nothing we can do down here. So let's try the other side. Mm hmm. This one goes up. I'm guessing we're gonna have company pretty soon, so let's prepare our weapon. Hmm, perhaps not. Okay. Here's a projector. There is something being projected over there on the screen. Anything else on these ledges up there? On these balconies? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's take a look. Looks like some kind of flayed corpse with its ribs opened up. And from this diagram we can see that Dark Souls go into these corpses. From dead side, I suppose, into the live side and into the five. 
So this is how the five were empowered by the Dark Souls. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. One more doorway to go. Let's see what this leads. Ah, wonderful. And here's the company. There we go. Any more? more? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So, here we are. Here we are. The Cathedral of Pain itself. As you can see, there's a stained glass up there with the markings of all five. There we go. And I was hearing a little piggy. Come here, pigsy. Okay, so. Let's take a quick look around because I can see barrels strewn about the place. You can see the mark of the Lizard King over here, so this is where B Victor Batrachian is residing. Hmm, I can hear more piggies. And there are also the markings above these arches, the markings of the, of the rest of the five. This door where the piggy comes from leads to a uh, Jack 2 from the knife. This one I think is Milton Pike, the ex-marine. Uh, ex this is the other guy I don't remember the name of, and this is the one who had mama issues. Okay. Anything else hiding behind these alcoves? No. Alright, let's let's take them clockwise. See what's what. Hmm. You can see some uh, war paraphernalia strewn about. And the, uh, the screams of dying children, women and children can be heard where the shrine of one of the five is, is located. You can see there are benches as well. Looks like demons worship the five as some kind of deity. But perhaps not, not at this moment exactly. Let's see if there are some Kado around here. Doesn't look like it. Ah, there's one up there. Well, do I try to get it? Or will I fall to my doom if I, tr if I attempt? Hmm. Later. Okay, here we are. Quite a gruesome sight. Flayed human corpse with its ribs opened up and some kind of blood mist coming out. Let's see if we can use this. Whoa! We can! Now where does this lead? Oh crap. We're in the real world. We are Michael Leroy. And that means we can be killed. Something killed all these people. Something or someone. Hey, you! This is private property. What the hell you think you're doing, boy? I ain't your boy. <laughs> Don't you get uppity with me. You trespassing on my property, I can call you anything I choose, boy. I didn't see no signs, fatso. That's cause you didn't arrive by the front door, did you? I don't need an invitation, fat man. I've been sent here by a higher power. I'm the only power around these parts, boy. You're gonna find that out soon enough. You're gonna find out what survival is all about. Just like a rerun of the now. It's judgment day for you and all your kind. This is the end, beautiful friend, for we are many. Jesus, I don't need this bullshit. Oh shit, Michael doesn't take shit from no one, it seems. <laughs> well, you wouldn't if you, if you knew you wouldn't die. But for now, let's look around the place, see if we can find anything useful around here. 
Excellent. That should be useful. Yes, indeed, it should. What is this? An accumulator. What's this supposed to be? Hmm. Hopefully, the fat boy won't run after us. This should be useful. Aha. An MP909. Not bad at all. And as always, Michael can use these, the weapons, in a Kimbo. One in each hand. There must be something down here. Great. Yes, there must, but we cannot enter. Let's try and fight. Fat boy. Ah, shit. You can hear that his screams aren't quite natural. Hmm. And you can see that there's something wrong with his body as well, now that he's taken enough damage. Hmm. Well, it appears there's nothing we can do about, the, about this guy right now. So, what do we do? Well, let's, get, let's ask Nettie if she has any advice for us. Nettie, I've found out how the Five reached this world, but when I cross over from the Asylum, it's always daytime, live side, and I'm going to need my power as a Shadow Man to truly kick their asses. Maybe I should just hang back and wait till nightfall. Which ain't easy, cause the five are after my blood. No use hanging back, Mike. The prophecy's upon us, and with every hour we're drawing closer to its terrible conclusion. Well, if I can't use my shadow powers on the five, we're screwed. I have an idea. Your esteemed predecessor, Maxime St. James, once spoke to me of L'Eclipse, the bringer of night. An ancient blade said to release the shadow into the world of men. This blade's hidden deep within the heart of Dead Sight. You better find it, and bring it back to me. Okay, not so subtle at all. We did know these things from the prophecy, of course. But it seems like it's time to gather the parts of L'Eclipse in order to bring uh, a perpetual nightfall before its time. It's interesting to note that all this is happening uh, in a very short span of time. I mean, if you think about it, it's still daytime. All our adventures in, uh, in Dead Side don't seem to affect, not, rather, don't seem to uh, to be affected by the flow of time here on Live Side. Which means we will have to find another way. But first, let's take a look around. As you can see, there's these dogs are. Quite creepy, if you ask me. Okay. This leads somewhere deeper, but we don't need to go down there yet. For now, let's go see Jaunty. See what he has to say about all this. Over here with you. Hey there, Mick. Any news? Nettie's told me that my predecessor, Maxim St. James, hid a sacred dagger called Eclipse deep within Deadside. She also informs me that I must find this dagger and bring it to her so that I may use my shadow powers in Lifeside and thereby strike down the Five. Do you have any idea where it may be hidden? Excuse me? Now, let me get this right. You're asking me, a bloody gatekeeper, where the former Shadow Man might have hidden a sacred dagger in Deadside? Intended for use by another Shadow Man? I am. Uh, let me think. Could it be hidden under me hat? In me eye socket? In me left ear, if I had one that is? No. What about in the parts of the bloody Shadow, you agent? I'll be along with you and stop asking me these bloody stupid questions. So, Jaunty does give us a hint in case we've already forgotten, which we haven't, because it hasn't been too long since I last played. We did encounter level 3 coffin gates in the, in the chamber of prophecy not one of not one but two of them actually so let's go take a look oh shit this place is populated now 
Well, it looks like it. Let's clean it up. Ah. Why do I only have one weapon? Oh, oh, right, right. So, this is a little problem. You cannot use your live side weapons on dead side. So, I can unfortunately, we cannot use our MP909 while we are as Shadow Man here on dead side. Can only use spiritual weapons. And I still can't push that block over there, so. Let's get behind this first coffin gate and move on to the next ones. Alright, one's up there and one is below. Let's open this one up there first, see what lies behind. Hmm, this chamber seems important. Let's see what's on the uh, glowing pedestal over there. This should be useful. And here we have the first part of the of Eclipse, La Loon. Okay. And here we have the congratulatory committee. Burn, motherfucker. Alright. Let's take the way down. See where this leads. Whoops. <laughs> Forgot. I have to use this. Yes. This uh, spiral stairwell, you could say, or platform, leads ever downwards. Let's see what lies beyond. But I, I could fall down, but I would miss all these cado if I did. So, we're gonna take the slow way down. Hmm. You're here at the bottom! Oh, shit! Shit, Michael, get up! Ugh. Well, stuck on the level geometry. Always a joy. That wasn't that hard now, was it? Okay, let's break apart these jars as well. And now, we move on to this uh, really <laughs> not very well, not very visible, rather, cave. Gotta keep our eyes open around these parts. Okay, so we have some more coffin gates around here. Hmm. This one needs a lot more shadow power than we currently have. Don't fall down. Don't fall down, Michael. And this one is a level four coffin gate. Unfortunately, we cannot open that either. Not yet, at least. Cannot break open those jars either, so. I knew it. Where are you? Yeah, come to daddy. Here, have a taste. Okay, so, what else can we do? Mm hmm. There's another pathway. Deeper. Into the wasteland. Hopefully, it leads somewhere good. Spoken of in whispers at the dead side margins, in the hushed and shivering tones of the lurking, lurching revenants, these ancient places, blood temples to the lower, where the dark souls did find their secret corner, hidden by the sanguinary sisters steeped in voodoo lore. Ah. Wonderful. We have arrived at the first Temple of Blood. These temples are perhaps what made a lot of people make the connection or the comparison of Shadow Man to Ocarina of Time. 
you know, because it was full of temples and such, but um, these aren't temples in the way Ocarina of Time works. These are much more complex, much more maze-like. Look, even this entrance entry chamber is complicated. There's something around here that I need to find. I remember so as much, but I don't remember exactly where. I remember it's quite an invisible pathway, you could say. Cavern, something like that. We'll see if I find it this year. See, this kind of thing I remember, because I wasted so much time. Ah, and a blood fall. Hmm. We're gonna have to find the point before we can... Ah, oh, crap. Before we can actually be able to climb that. Die. Okay. Now, the temple... Uh, the temples of blood are... Um, as Michael, of course, himself mentioned, shrines of uh, worship to the Loa, the, the, the ancient voodoo spirits. And it is where we will be able to equip ourselves, or mark ourselves, more correctly, with the god tattoos. Oh yes, very soon we will be able to uh, expand greatly our ability to explore the game world. But, as you might expect, we're going to have some trials ahead of us, and uh, as opposed to uh, 3D Zelda games, these trials are bloody difficult. Ah, shit. We got those undead piranhas down there. Okay, so let's try and take care of them, shall we? It's interesting to note that when you're not in a first-person mode, you uh, have some kind of lock on as well as a uh, not aim function it doesn't work perfectly by any means but it does work let's see what lies in this cave in the water in the blood shit missed there we go these things are a pain in the ass come here you There we go. Aha! An opening. Yeah, missed. Missed it completely. There we go. There's quite a few of them, actually. Oh, shit! Alright. Let's see what's at the bottom. And as you can uh, probably hear yourself, the music has changed. That means we have entered the temple proper. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to see what else I can find in the entryway. Okay, so where does this lead? Hmm. Hikado. Well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. And there are some markings over here. The Mask of Shadows is plainly visible. And something else which I cannot exactly tell. What it's supposed to depict. Okay, so. Enough milling about. Time to enter. The Temple of Blood. And here we are. This you could say is the... Uh, the entry chamber. As you can see, there are quite a few blood folds around these parts. And this place is a sloped spiral with another entryway over here and lots and lots of things to do and discover. But we will be doing all that next time. Till then, thank you very much for watching. Do like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos as always. And I hope to see you next time in Michael Renoir's adventures in Shadowman. Till then, take care.